The Republic of China Taiwan has pledged $18.5 million towards St. Lucia's Constituency Development Program, CDP. This partnership between the Republic of China Taiwan and the government of St. Lucia was formalized in a record of donation ceremony that took place on Monday, April 29th. It is undeniable that community development stands as the backdrop of national progress. And I recall the touching commendation from my previous visit to various CDP sites, accompanied by MPs and officials from the Department of Economic Development. And it was heartening to witness unanimous praise for the CDP during the recent parliamentary debates. It is also essential to acknowledge the contributions of the diligent officials in charge who provide a comprehensive 13 pages expenditure table for the 2023 CDP to facilitate the requested grant process. The CDP is a vital initiative in the development of local communities and the improvement of the lives of St. Lucians across the island. The funds will be distributed across all 17 constituencies in St. Lucia with each member of parliament receiving an allocation for their respective constituency, ensuring equity and equality. Everybody in St. Lucia deserves to have a better quality of life. Regardless of who you vote for, you ought to have a better quality of life. It's your right to have a better, a better quality of life. And what the CDB does is in these small programs, in these little projects, they improve the quality of life of the people of the, of the country. And this is why it is so important that we understand the nature of the CDP and the flexibility that we must have as far as the CDP is concerned. Prime Minister Pierre has emphasized that the allocation of funds through the CDP program is aimed at improving the lives of all St. Lucians, irrespective of their political beliefs or affiliations. He has encouraged civil servants to prioritize the prompt implementation of projects without any bureaucratic obstacles, emphasizing the significance of swift action to initiate projects for the welfare of the general public. Down to urge permanent secretaries, implementation must be the answer for the year of infrastructure. Implementation. We have to remove the bottlenecks. You have to find the bottlenecks and don't create them. You have to find them. Remove the bottlenecks because our mission is for the people of, 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 of this country. Everybody benefits when the country does well. Everybody. The $18.5 million CDP grant will be distributed over the entire fiscal year with each MP receiving a quarterly allocation. Robust processes are in place to guarantee the utmost transparency and accountability in the allocation and spending of funds. Every project has to have a cost in. Every project has to be verifiable. The ambassador has to report to his government. He has to go in and be able to see that is what happened. So we have to urge we are, we are doing it, but I want to re-emphasize it, that every project must be verifiable and it must be endorsed by the Ministry of Economic Development. The grant awarded to CDP will certainly have a significant impact on the socio-economic development of communities across the island. The Accountant General received the funds which will be managed out of the Consolidated Fund.